Welcome to Discover Universe Updates. Please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon for more updates. The headlines warn of a silent threat lurking beneath the vast expanse of the South China Sea, a threat that remains invisible to the naked eye, yet is ever-present and growing. Every day, new reports and urgent bulletins remind us that nature's most powerful forces are often the ones we cannot see or hear until it's too late. Beneath these waters, a megaquake is looming. Its arrival a matter of when, not if. It's a countdown to catastrophe, a ticking clock that scientists and experts are racing to understand before disaster strikes. Scientists, working tirelessly in labs and research centers, see what most cannot, a colossal force building pressure deep below the ocean floor. Their instruments pick up the faintest signals, the smallest shifts, warning of a power capable of devastation beyond our comprehension. They know that what lies beneath could change everything in an instant. Picture a fishing boat, the Maria gently bobbing on calm, sunlit waters. The crew goes about their daily routine, completely unaware of the titanic struggle unfolding miles beneath their vessel. To them, the sea is peaceful, serene, a source of life and livelihood. But below, forces are gathering that could turn tranquility into chaos in a matter of moments. Two massive tectonic plates are locked in a silent, relentless battle. For years, even centuries, they have pressed against each other, pressure mounting to a breaking point. This invisible war is fought in total darkness, far from human eyes, but its outcome could reshape entire coastlines and lives. The deceptive tranquility above hides the most frightening part. There are no obvious warnings, no dramatic signs for the untrained eye. Only the most sensitive instruments can detect the subtle tremors, the slow, almost imperceptible shifts of the seafloor. Geologists and seismologists spend countless hours reading these faint signals, searching for patterns, hoping to predict the unpredictable. They piece together a complex puzzle, each fragment of data pointing toward a terrifying conclusion. The evidence grows stronger with every passing day, and the picture it forms is one of imminent danger. The silence is not safety, it's a spring coiling tighter and tighter, storing unimaginable energy. When it finally snaps, the release will be sudden and violent, unleashing forces that have been building for generations. For millions living along Southeast Asia's coasts, this is not a distant or abstract threat. It is a direct danger to their homes, their families, and their futures. Entire communities depend on the sea, but they also live in its shadow, vulnerable to its most destructive moods. In an instant, the calm sea could transform into a monstrous wall of water, a tsunami racing toward the shore with unstoppable force. History has shown us the devastation such waves can bring, wiping out everything in their path. The ground itself could convulse, shaking entire cities to dust, toppling buildings, and leaving chaos in its wake. The aftermath would be felt for years, if not generations. This is the urgent reality we must face. Awareness, preparation, and respect for the power of nature are our only defenses against the warning from the deep. The time to act is now, before the silence is shattered. The Manila Trench is a deep scar on the ocean floor, lying just west of the Philippine islands of Luzon and Mindoro. It's a hidden world beneath the waves, stretching far beyond what the eye can see, and plunging to depths that few humans have ever explored. This trench is not just a geographical feature, it's a dynamic, restless boundary between two massive tectonic plates. The Manila Trench stretches for hundreds of miles, running parallel to the western coastline of the Philippines. It forms a long, sinuous line on the seafloor marking the edge where two worlds collide. This trench marks a subduction zone, an area where the immense Eurasian plate is slowly but relentlessly sliding beneath the Philippine sea plate. This process is one of the most powerful forces on Earth, responsible for shaping continents and creating some of the planet's most dramatic landscapes. Over millions of years this slow-motion collision has built the volcanic island chains of the Philippines. Volcanic arcs rise from the sea, their fiery origins a direct result of the plates grinding and melting deep below. The islands we see today are the product of these titanic forces, constantly being reshaped by eruptions and earthquakes. But there's a hidden danger. The plates don't glide smoothly past each other. Instead, their jagged, uneven edges catch and lock together, creating what scientists call a locked fault. When these edges get stuck, the energy from the moving plates has nowhere to go. It builds up year after year, decade after decade, like a spring being wound tighter and tighter. Imagine bending a ruler until it finally snaps. That's what happens along the trench. Pressure builds for decades or even centuries until the fault can no longer hold. 
and all that energy is released in a sudden violent rupture. Today, scientists believe that large sections of the Manila Trench are currently locked and accumulating stress. Seismic data and computer models show that these areas are not releasing energy through small, frequent earthquakes. The last major earthquake along this trench happened centuries ago. Since then, the fault has been eerily quiet, with little seismic activity to relieve the mounting pressure. This long silence is a warning sign. Stress has been accumulating beneath the surface for generations. The calmness above the trench is deceptive. To the untrained eye, the ocean appears peaceful, but to geologists this silence is deeply worrying. It suggests that when the fault finally moves, it won't be a minor event. Instead, the next rupture could be catastrophic, a megaquake capable of shaking the region for hundreds of miles. The energy released could trigger massive tsunamis, landslides, and widespread destruction across Southeast Asia. The lack of smaller quakes means the fault is storing energy for a massive event. Each year that passes without a release only increases the risk. This is the situation we face, a geological time bomb, primed and ready. The clock is ticking and no one knows exactly when it will go off. The question is not if, but when. Scientists are racing to understand the trench's secrets, hoping to predict the next big event and prepare the region for what's to come. When it happens, the consequences will be felt across Southeast Asia, impacting millions of lives, reshaping coastlines and reminding us of the immense power hidden beneath the sea. A locked fault is one of geology's greatest dangers. Normally small tremors release energy, acting as safety valves. But the Manila Trench has been ominously quiet, no small quakes, just mounting strain. The plates are fused by friction, storing energy as elastic strain. When the stress finally overcomes friction the result is a sudden violent rupture. The fault will unzip in an instant releasing centuries of energy in minutes. This generates seismic waves of a megaquake, magnitude 8 or 9, far beyond typical earthquakes. The longer the fault is locked, the more powerful the eventual quake. Geological evidence suggests the Manila Trench has been locked for a very long time. We are living in the quiet before the snap. When it comes the impact will be catastrophic. The sheer devastation that a megaquake can unleash is almost unimaginable. In just a few moments, entire cities can be reduced to rubble, and the lives of millions can be changed forever. These disasters leave scars not only on the landscape, but also on the collective memory of nations. In 2004, the Sumatra subduction zone ruptured, triggering a magnitude 9.1 earthquake and a tsunami that killed over 230,000 people across more than a dozen countries. The scale of destruction was unprecedented, with entire communities wiped out in minutes and survivors left to face unimaginable loss. The Sunda Trench, much like the Manila Trench, had been locked for centuries, silently building up stress before its catastrophic failure. These geological time bombs can remain quiet for generations, lulling nearby populations into a false sense of security. When the rupture finally came, the tsunami's waves raced across the Indian Ocean, traveling thousands of miles and devastating distant shores from Indonesia to Africa. No coastline in their path was truly safe. In 2011, Japan, a nation renowned for its earthquake preparedness, faced a magnitude 9.0 quake and tsunami that overwhelmed even its advanced defenses. The disaster showed that even the best prepared countries can be caught off guard by nature's fury. Sea walls, that were thought to be impenetrable, crumbled. Entire towns vanished beneath the waves, and the Fukushima nuclear disaster added a new layer of tragedy to the catastrophe. The Manila Trench shares these dangerous traits. It's long, it's locked, and it lies alarmingly close to millions of people living in densely populated coastal cities. The risk is not just theoretical, it's a real and present danger. Unlike Japan, the South China Sea region lacks robust tsunami warning systems and comprehensive disaster preparedness. Many communities remain vulnerable with little time to react if disaster strikes. History's lessons are clear, a locked subduction zone can unleash a regional catastrophe affecting multiple countries and millions of lives in a matter of hours. The Manila Trench fits this deadly profile. The warning signs are all around us, we have been warned, and the time to prepare is now, before history repeats itself. The threat from the Manila Trench is confirmed by both history and science. Ancient accounts describe devastating floods and shaking, signs of past tsunamis and quakes. Geologists find sand layers far inland, evidence of prehistoric tsunamis larger than any in recent memory. Modern GPS data shows the land is being squeezed, confirming the fault is locked and strain is building. Seafloor mapping reveals the trench's immense scale, capable of a magnitude 9 event. 
The length of the fault means a long rupture and a massive quake. All evidence points to the same conclusion. The Manila Trench has unleashed mega quakes before and is building toward another. The danger is real and growing. When the Manila Trench ruptures, disaster will unfold in minutes. First, a violent rolling earthquake, lasting up to five minutes, will devastate Luzon and Manila. Buildings will collapse, infrastructure will fail. Simultaneously, the seafloor will lurch upward, displacing a colossal volume of water. This sudden uplift creates a massive bulge that collapses, generating a tsunami. The waves will race outward at jetliner speeds, barely noticeable in deep water. As they reach shallow coasts, they will rise into towering walls of water. The tsunami will not be a single wave, but a series of surges flooding miles inland. The devastation will be swift and absolute. This is the chain reaction locked fault mega quake unstoppable tsunami. The tsunami's speed leaves almost no time to react. On the Philippines' west coast, waves could arrive within 2 to 10 minutes, no time for official warnings. Survival will depend on immediate self-evacuation to higher ground. Millions live in low-lying areas directly in the path of the first waves. The tsunami's energy will ricochet across the South China Sea, striking Vietnam, Southern China, Hong Kong, Macau, and Taiwan. Hong Kong and the Pearl River Delta could see waves in under two hours, causing catastrophic flooding. Even Malaysia, Brunei, Singapore, and Indonesia would feel the impact. Ports destroyed, shipping disrupted, economies halted, the ripple effects would be global. A single event could devastate half a dozen countries at once. The humanitarian crisis would be overwhelming. Despite the threat, the South China Sea region is dangerously unprepared. There's no unified tsunami warning system for the basin. Few deep ocean buoys or seismic sensors exist to detect and confirm tsunamis. Many coastal communities lack awareness, evacuation routes, and safe zones. Political tensions hinder the cross-border cooperation needed for effective warning and response. A tsunami will not respect borders, it will strike all coasts equally. The lack of preparation and cooperation is the region's greatest vulnerability. The region stands on the brink, geologically, and in its capacity to respond. The time to act is now. The Manila Trench is a clear and present danger, not a distant possibility. Its silence is the calm before a devastating storm, a countdown nearing its end. The potential consequences are almost unimaginable, hundreds of thousands dead, millions displaced, a global economic crisis. We have a window to act but it's closing fast. Urgent investment in a region-wide warning system and unprecedented cooperation are essential. Public education is vital. Everyone must know the signs and how to respond. Technology and policy are useless without a prepared public. The ground beneath the South China Sea is straining. It will break. The time for debate is over. The time to act is now. The silence is the sound of a ticking clock. We must listen and act before it's too late.